Hey YouTubers, Captain Kenny here. We're going to do a little upgrade on the work truck. I've got a 1999 Chevy diesel, 6.5. Been having some problems with it. Replaced the injector pump and still having some issues. So I'm going to add a fuel pressure gauge and a boost gauge. I bought this online. It's from Glow Shift. It was the most bang for the buck I found. I also bought the pillar post. See what kind of box it got sent in? It's kind of crushed, but the, the piece actually came in good condition. So it's just a plastic piece, mounts right on the pillar post. On the description, it said it only fitted up to 1994, but I know that the pillar post probably goes up to about the year, I don't know, 2005 or something, it's all the same. And it just fits right around the pillar post. So I'm going to be mounting that today. We'll do a uh, unboxing of the two gauges. Bought the bolt that you're going to replace one of the, I think it's called a plenum bolt or like one of the upper intake manifold bolts. And that's what you actually hook the boost gauge to. And you take off the bleeder on top of the fuel filter and you screw this fitting in place of it and then the electric module that goes to the fuel pressure gauge screws into the top of this so you just run a couple wires into the cab of the truck and you're not actually putting fuel into the truck this is the one that does the boost pressure I'm going to remove one of the bolts in the top of the air intake plenum and this is replacing one of the bolts and then the pressure line is going to go into there. Here's the gauges. Got to put some eyeballs on. That's the fuel pressure gauge. And then here is the boost vacuum gauge. And the fuel pressure gauge, I got it where it just goes up to 30 pounds because on this diesel, it probably maxes out at like 6 pounds. So it doesn't need to be a real high pressure switch or a, a real high pressure gauge. Little product catalog that came with it. Trying to get you to buy more of the products. 10% off coupon for buying additional things. Ooh, a couple stickers. Glow shift stickers that'll work good on my cooler and an invoice. So let's see what comes into the fuel pressure gauge. Okay, there's the gauge there itself. It looks like it's got a protective film on it, it's like a bezel. mounting screws. This is the solenoid that's going to screw right into the top of that. Put a little bit of Teflon tape on it and then you connect the wires. This plugs into the back of it. This is probably for the light. Uh, it also is lit, backlit, so when you turn your lights on it comes on. I don't even know if I need to hook that up because I don't ever drive this truck at night. It's a work truck, but I'll probably hook it up. So that's that. Now this is the boost vacuum gauge. It's almost like Christmas time. Almost the exact same type of gauge. Protective plastic over the top of it. Bezel. vacuum line. Looks like it doesn't have any type of uh, connection. It just slides over the end of it. Uh, one thing I will have to do, which I might have in my toolbox, is I'll probably have to have some type of connector, brass fitting, that connects this hose to this fitting. So I might have to run to the store. So that's what we have. We have the two gauges. These are the mounting clips for the plastic bezel. 
I doubt I'll use these. You're supposed to drill a hole and use these little push things in there. I'll probably actually use a screw because these push things start to work out after a while. So that's it. This was about $150 for this little setup here. Uh, actually, I think it was about $175. These were $10 a piece. Uh, I think the fuel pressure gauge was like $60. The boost pressure was like about $40. And this was about $35. Thanks for watching. Y'all check out my other videos on the installation of this. And leave me a comment if you have any questions. And I'm also going to be doing a scan tool on the 6.5 also because since I've installed it, I found out you have to reset the computer. And rather than going to the dealership and paying them $150, I decided that it would be better to own the scan tool. So I bought that. That'll be here towards the end of the week. I'll also do a video on resetting the top dead center on a Chevy 6.5 diesel. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.